Good morning, oil traders. It is Monday, July 31st at 8.35 a.m. Eastern, and we're just shy of an hour ahead of uh, markets open here on the East Coast in North America. And as you can see, the bulls are possibly giving up the reins of their control from last week um, in favor of the bears. Uh, we're down 27 cents off uh, the previous close. So we're, we're well into the red territory, but uh, it's nothing too dramatic yet. Um, I, I am a bear, as you guys know, and I'm not yet convinced that, uh, that this is all that great for me yet, for me and the bears. The bears. Um, but uh, if we get closer to 49, certainly below 49.80, um, that would be a good confirmation um, of uh, the bulls having given up control to the bears, uh, at least for today and probably uh, for tomorrow, I would expect. If we do continue dropping, that is, I would expect the downward trajectory to last at least two days, maybe three days. Of course, keep in mind that we've got news at 4.30 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, tomorrow, and then again at 10.30 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday. So that's going to be a big factor in the movement that we see uh, today and tomorrow during uh, trading here in uh, North America and of course around the world, but I just mean in terms of uh, the time on the clock. But uh, where we are right now, kind of the mid-49s, mid it's really still anyone's game. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we shot back up above 50 and it wouldn't surprise me if we tanked below 49. Um, either one is equally possible today. So I'm not quite celebrating my short positions just yet. Uh, if we do drop, I'm going to be quite patient. Um, I'm waiting until European markets close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern at a minimum, but I'm probably just going to wait out the entire trading day. It, that If we do drop, continue to drop, that is. Uh, if I'm disappointed and we uh, reverse course back up, um, which I think is quite uh, realistic, then I'll be looking to add to my short positions in the mid 50s, uh, like 50-50, uh, somewhere around there. But my feeling is that if we do go up, I think we're going to be faced with a pretty strong resistance level at about 50-20. Uh, that's, that's kind of my gut based on what I'm seeing over the past uh, few months. You know, anybody's guess, uh, that's kind of my feeling. And uh, I am extremely bearish at this point in terms of my portfolio holdings, which you guys can check out on tradingjournal.ca. Um, I'm well into the red on my unrealized holdings, uh, given last week's bullish climb. So if we take a look at last week's uh, trajectory, it was basically straight up. And if you're a bear like me, it hurt. <laughs> um, so, you know, today, this morning's uh, pullback is is nice to see, um, but you know, it's not yet enough to give me confidence that we're going to keep going down today. Um, if we drop to 49, like I said, 48.80, I think that'll be a bigger sign that. Uh, it's time for the bulls to give up their reins, at least temporarily. Uh, that's my feeling. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. Uh, give me a shout out on the comments forms here on YouTube down below or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. And uh, in the meantime, I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading at around 4 p.m. Eastern. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll talk to you guys then. Cheers.